Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's SBHG lesson, we're asking the question, what is fair trade? Our goal for today is to understand what fair trade is and to understand why it's important. But first, let's head to the shops. We need to stock up on a couple of household essential items. But I need your help to decide which one of the two different brands I should buy. They all cost exactly the same price, so you'll have to use something else to decide which product is better to buy. For each decision, write down which one you think I should get, and give me one reason why I should pick that one. You ready? Okay, first up is some tea. I need to restock on tea. So I've got two choices. I can either get the Tetley's green tea on the left side, or I can get the green loose tea leaf on the right side. Which one do you think I should go for? Pause the video and write down a reason why. Okay, next up is coffee. I have two choices. I can go for a Nescafe Gold, or I can go for Jacob's Mild. Which one of these two do you think I should go for, and why? Pause the video and write down your answer. Okay, and I need a little something to nibble on while I'm drinking these drinks, so I'm going to look for a bar of chocolate. I have two choices. I can either go for original dark chocolate, or I can go for the Amul dark chocolate. Which of these two do you think I should choose, and why? Pause the video and write down an answer. Okay, I've gathered everything I need. It's off to the checkout. I wonder though, why did you choose some products over the other one? Was there the same reason every time or different reasons? One thing you might have noticed on the front packet of some of those products was a symbol that looked like this. Did you notice it? What do you think it means? Pause the video and write down an answer. We are really lucky that we live in a developed country. Developed countries, like the countries of the European Union, Ireland and America, have lots of people who have extra money to buy different products. In these countries, people have to make decisions every day about the things they want to buy, just like you had to. We are very lucky that when we go into the supermarket, we don't just have to choose between two different types of coffee, but instead, there might be 10, 20, 30 different types of coffee to buy. So when people are trying to figure out which one they're going to buy, they have to think of the price, the brand, how nice the actual product is, and lots of other things too. One thing that people are starting to look out for more and more these days is this symbol. This is the fair trade symbol. What do you think that means, fair trade? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, fair trade has a clue in its name. Fair trade means that everyone involved in making that chocolate bar or those coffee beans have been paid a fair price for them. Unfortunately, not every chocolate bar or coffee bag is fair trade, which means that some people in the world aren't getting paid fairly for the work that they do. Let's go across the world and see how this could possibly happen. We learned in the last lesson that some of our favourite things like chocolate and coffee have to be grown in tropical rainforests. Unfortunately, a lot of the poorest people in the world work really hard in these areas to make the things that we buy every day. Tea, coffee, sugar, chocolate, all of these crops are grown by poor farmers in rainforest areas. Let's have a look at how non-fair trade chocolate bars get from the farm to our mouths. 
deep in the rainforest, small farmers grow tough crops like coffee beans and cacao pods. These are hard to grow and take a lot of work, so the farms are quite small. These farmers are poor, so they can't really afford to hire help or to get machinery. When the beans are ripe, the farmer sells them to a big company. The company offers him a very low price for his whole crop. He has to take his offer because there's nobody else to sell his beans to. The company takes these beans and turns them into chocolate bars. People buy the chocolate bars for cheap prices in the shops and the money from the chocolate bar goes back to the company who made the bars, not to the farmer who grew the crops to make the bar. Our farmer doesn't have enough money to feed his family all the time and he has worked hard all year and really his life hasn't gotten any better. The company, on the other hand, makes a lot of money from the chocolate bar, enough to cover the costs of the beans and the making, and to have a lot left over in profits. What do you think about this? Do you think this is fair? Is there anything you would change about this? Pause the video and write down an answer. So maybe you're thinking, but why don't the companies just give the farmers a fair price for their beans? Well, the simple answer is, they don't have to. They want to be able to sell their chocolate bars cheap so that more people will buy them, which will give them more profit. If a farmer says that they want more money, the big companies will just go to a different farmer. So really, they have no choice unless they are fair trade farmers. Fair trade farmers are very different. Let's have a look at how the steps change when we're talking about fair trade chocolate and coffee. Firstly, instead of farmers being by themselves on small farms, the farmers join a local community to make a bigger group of farmers. This way, they're more powerful because they're all together, united. It means they can help each other with the work when it gets difficult, and it means that they can ask for a better price. Fair trade farmers are guaranteed to get a minimum price for their crops. This means that no matter what company comes to try and buy from them, the farmers know that they'll get at least a fair amount of money for their crop. As well as getting a fair wage for the work they do, farmers also get extra money from fair trade. This money can be used to spend on anything they want in the community. So they might dig a well, or they might build a school or a hospital to make life a little bit better for the people who are working so hard. When these fair trade chocolate bars are made, they are stamped with the fair trade label, so that when you're walking in the shop, you know when you buy that chocolate bar, that the farmers and the families are being treated well. This does mean, however, you have to pay more for fair trade products. After all, the big companies still want to make a profit. So what do you think? Is it better to have cheaper chocolate but the farmers are not getting paid as well. Or, slightly more expensive chocolate, but you know that the people who are growing are getting treated fairly. Next time you're in the shops, have a look on the packaging of some of your favorite products from the rainforest. Check if your favorite chocolate is fair trade. And if it's not, see if you can find one that is. So our Walt for today was to understand what fair trade is and why it's so important. When you're ready, you can start the practice activities down below. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.